There may be hope for another purple one. It's kind of risky, but then when I have two lines... Oh, there we go. Look at this. This is perfect. Okay, this is just luck. Total luck that this fits in here. Hey everyone, this is Zetekos. In my quest to show you all the For One solo games designed by René Knizia, I will be showing you the next game today. And that is Schwarze Rosen, um, also Black Roses in English. Uh, I'm not sure in which uh, order I will release all these videos, so it's possible you have already seen at least another game from the series on my channel. Today we will be playing Schwarze Rosen, so um, I will um, do it as usual. I will play through the game, um, through one of the lowest challenge levels, but then I will talk about the higher challenge levels and give you like a short unscripted review from my side. A little spoiler, I like the entire series and almost all of the reviews for all four games um, do look very similar, right? Um, all right, so, Schwarze Rosen, um, Black Roses, let's take a look here. So, um, we do have um, the regular rules, of course, but we also have like the challenge book here, right? Um, there, I think there are 25, let me just check, 20. The 20 different levels in here um, divided into different chapters. This game only exists in German so far at the moment, as far as I know. But if you can get a hold of it, you, sh hold of it, you should be able to play it by just watching my video. Um, I'm not sure if they will tr translate that into English, like the challenge book. That's like the only thing you really need in English, right? So I'm not sure if they will do that um, because, yeah, definitely a recommendable game. So, um, yeah, let me, I will not do a montage this time. I will just set up the game um, quite quickly because it is quite simple to set up. Um, I will now actually show you challenge level one. Um, which is the easiest one, um, but I will also talk, as I said, I will talk about the other challenge levels afterwards. So what we do is we take these double um, double flower tokens here that we have here, but not the ones that have like black roses and also not the ones that have like the same flower on both sides, right? But all other ones we just take, um, we just turn them over and put them right here. Maybe shovel them a little bit. That's it. That's the setup of the game. <laughs> so there is more stuff in here. I will talk about that later. Um, all right. So that's already it. Um, if we take a look, oops, at the challenge level here, then we see that um, we will play be playing the lowest one here. Um, I will sh uh, explain to you in just a moment how we receive points. But here we see like we need nine points at least to rank at all to have like bronze level then 11 uh, grinds of silver level and 13 gold level and then like all the other levels there are like more uh, things more things that we work with so yeah so what do we do in this game this is a tile laying game and some of you might know that i really really love tile laying games there are quite a few that i really enjoy um, i've already brought a few of those to you on the channel um, including things like Calico and Cascadia and Verdant, if you wanted to call that a tile laying game, and Kohaku, and I will bring you even more in the future. And that's just another one, but it works pretty cool because what we do is we have like these uh, double tiles and we turn over one of those and then we have to place it someplace, but we always have to place it adjacent to other flowers. We already have flowers here at the edge of the board, at least on this board for this challenge level. There are challenge levels where we don't have that. And then we just place it someplace, for example, like this. Our goal is to place as many, uh, or to uh, like create as many rows of three, like groups of three in a line, um, because these grant us points. Um, the white and the red roses grant us two points each for like three, uh, three in a line, and all the other um, flowers grant us one point. And that's already it. That's all the rules we have. And we continue until we can't place any tiles anymore. So we just continue here. Um, so let me see. There will be something with blue later on probably. Also not all tiles fit. So I cannot count on specific tiles coming out, right? But I think what I, mm, well, actually that was just an example. Will I actually place that here? Let me just check quickly because I would like to somehow get the white and red roses here, right? Because they grant us more points. Because if I do it like this, then I would have to place another yellow one here and then we couldn't do the red roses, right? But here we could like do two at the same time. It's kind of like the dilemma I have here. But I think I will keep it like this. That's fine for now. 
and this I could now I mean of course like this would be great again right but then I couldn't do these this red rose and I really would like to do that so I think what I would like to do is do it like th no that wouldn't work either oh no that would work so let me do it like this I hope I will like just find a blue one later on that I can just shove in there I hope so oh this one already I could take this immediately I could put that here like this then I will have two lines already I think that's not too bad yeah I think let's do that uh, we have a white rose here. Let's do it. Well, check this out. I think that's pretty good. All right. Oops. I did not see that. Sorry. I will just shove that back in. Okay. So this one here, we do have a red rose, but I mean, red roses don't work here, but we could do something here maybe, and then put like blues here. Maybe. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, oh, Okay, so I will, if I put this here, I will not be able to, actually, you know what, let me do it like this here. Then we have like three yellow ones, that's great, and also I can like start another red roses here. I don't have to like take the ones from the edges, right, so that's fine. Oh, this one fits really well here. Oh, that one looks nice. I like that one. So we have three red roses, there we go, that's fine. So now I'm a little bit uh, more free here um, regarding what I can do. So here we have pink ones again, right there. You know what, I could do it like this and then hope to maybe put another yellow one right in here. If I get one, and there is one already, but I will not use that one. I will use that one for the, for the, uh, the white rose here because they grant more points. I think that's not too bad. Man, I really got quite a few lines in here. That could be quite a good game. Uh, I wanted to have yellow ones here. You know what, let me do it like this and then see what we can do there. Um, another yellow one, yeah, let me put that right here. Like this. And then here, this one, um, I could try to work with red roses up here. So maybe let's try that. Um, the yellow one, I wanted to have a yellow one right there. That's perfect. Okay. So you see, we're almost done. This is a very quick game. Um, and I think that would be, you know what? Let me put it in here and maybe hope for another purple one. It's kind of risky, but then we're going to have two lines because yes, one flower can count horizontally and vertically. Oh, there we go. Look at this. This is perfect. Okay. This is just luck, total luck that this fits in here. With that tile, I was able to like finish three lines. Um, another red one, that's great because we want another red one up here. Okay, and now maybe just a blue one would be nice and everything else doesn't really matter. Uh, that's not a blue one. So let me just put that one in here and hope for another blue one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. That is, oh, I should have turned that around, but okay. That's the way it is. And I actually, I actually puzzled together the entire thing. Usually there are like a few uh, spots still left. And you see, I puzzled everything. Like I put all the tiles, like I covered all of the tiles and we still have three left, all right? And that is already it. That is really it. And now we just count up all the points that we have gotten here. So um, as I said, we will now count all the lines. So what I usually do first, I take a look at all the horizontal ones and then all the vertical ones. That's like the easiest thing to do. And then we just check how many points we get. So we get one point for each line of three in a row. Um, but for red and white roses, we get even two points, which will be crucial. And I've gotten quite a few of those. So let's um, start, let's, let's start um, horizontally first. So we have Two points, three, uh, five, six. I think that's it. So we should have six points. So we want to have, I think, nine at least, right? And then I go down uh, vertically now. So that is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 11, which would be 17 altogether. Wow, that is quite a lot. And I think that is actually correct. 
I think that is everything that I got. So really, wow, that that was really my best game so far. But if you if you look here, we need like thirteen for gold level. And I got like seventeen, so I'm way above that. But that is not all because um, there are more challenge levels here. Um, so uh, for example, let me just show you um, a few things. So we do have more boards here, right? Um, the other one here is double-sided as well. And these just work a little bit differently. Here we only have flowers down here. We have dirt here. I don't know what that does yet. Um, and also here we have um, nothing, no flowers at the edges. So we need to start like completely fresh. And we have like, I think we need to put like these exact flowers on here and things like that. So that's pretty interesting. Um, and also if we take a look at the box again, we have like more, uh, more components here, right? So there are then later more tiles with like black roses. Also we have like, uh, flowers with double um the tiles with double flowers which is really good because i'm actually I actually want those also we have like single ones and ones with the bees so i don't actually know all of them yet um but these um i already know on the right here so um you can like the next level for example you would start with like six different like flower tokens and whenever you have a line of that kind of flower like a line of three then you can remove that token and these tokens if you have to remove those um, at the end of the game um, grant you a negative two points, right? Um, I think that's fine because I got every kind here. I think I got every kind of flower, so I wouldn't have received any um, again, negative points because you see here, now, now the threshold is like 12, like 8, 10, 12, one less, right? So you actually really need to like remove all of those or, I mean, I could have actually um, kept like two of them and still have received the gold level, but that's kind of how that works. And later on, you also get the grass markers, where you put like grass markers in every row and every column, and then you uh, need to like clear like rows in every row and column, otherwise these grant two negative points. So really tough. This game gets really tough and really puzzly. And there's like 20 levels here, and so it's like very replayable. And that leads me over to like my unscripted review, like what I think about the game. So first of all, I really, really like this. I spoiled that at the beginning of the video that I like all the games in this series, really all four games. They are all great. And this one is no exception. This might actually be my favorite or one of my favorites. Yes, I'm slightly biased because I just love tile laying games. I just think it's a great mechanism. You can do a lot of things with that. And this game, I wouldn't say it re reinvents the wheel, but it condenses that mechanism quite really well into like a solo experience with like a really small footprint. This tile is, like this board is all you need, plus a few tiles like you put on the sides, right? But that's all you need. It's like a really small footprint. And because you can put everything back into the box, you could even put the tiles theoretically. You could put everything you need on the right, here in the box or whatever, right? Um, so you could actually kind of um, condense the table space even more. Um, really good. Really well done. Um, I like all the materials are great. Like these are really thick cardboard tokens. The graphics look nice. Um, so everything is really well done here. Um, I was a little bit like on the fence, um, whether or not like a solo series by Rainer Knizia um, would be like really good, like very, very good because uh, there are so many solo games out there. And uh, as far as I know, he's n he isn't known for like solo only content, but man, this is good. This is really good. Um, it's a very puzzly game that gets really tough later on. Like this, this is like a like um, a pattern you see with all four games in this series that these games all like get like start really simple actually, right? You can like quite easily manage the first level, um, and these get like really tough later on, like really really tough. Um, and it's cool that you do have like you do have do have like a win lose condition because you need to like reach at least bronze to somehow manage to defeat the level, right? Uh, they say like, um, you should, I think that somewhere in these, these books, they say like, try to defeat the bronze level. And as soon as you have defeated that, you can move on to the next level. So it's like a win loss condition, but you still have like that, that um, possibility to try to like reach gold at all levels. And that's what I definitely will do with these games. These games are really good that I really want to try to beat the games. And even when you're through them, you can still play from the beginning again. Or when you're through, you could even like just uh, check off like play replay different levels like the ones you like the most so a really really well done game i'm pretty impressed by this um yeah so this will be kind of hard to get outside of uh, of europe or of germany at the moment um so but if you can get a hold of it um no matter depending on where you are i would highly suggest you do of course the problem is that the rule book is in german at the moment so i don't know if they will have an english version of that i don't know I will, I will have to ask them, but um, this is something, again, 
highly suggest, highly recommend if you either like tile laying games or good, small, but um, really deep, quite deep uh, solo games. So yeah, definitely a recommendation from my side. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, I just realized it as I was packing up the game, um, this will definitely get um, a Sothekos Ace of Games Award. I just haven't decided on which one yet. Uh, I will need to play the game a little bit more in order to determine that. But keep an eye out. I will definitely um, grant one to the game for sure. All right. And that concludes my showcase of Schwarze Rosen or Black Roses by Rainer Knizia in the 4-1 solo series. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, I want to thank all of you for your support. Seriously, I'm very, very thankful for all of you. I want to give a special shout out to my Patreons who are very generous by supporting me on Patreon. The biggest thanks go out to Thagnor, who is the most generous supporter at the highest tier. Thank you so much for that. There's so much you can do to support me by just liking or commenting below my videos. You can also subscribe to my channel if you like my content enough. And you can also support me on Patreon if you would like to. And also, you can join my Discord server in case you would like to hang out with me and my community. All right, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. I will see you in the very next video or my Discord server. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.